Yours is a connecting steel. Good morning, Essex Pandas. Today is Monday, March 4th. Kids Heart Challenge is one week strong, and you are have already raised $3,000 wow. by practicing in the Kids Heart Challenge. You are raising money for kids with special hearts. You will also learn about the importance of taking care of your heart. Now we'll have Anchor 2 with our weekly virtue. Good morning, Anchor 2. This week we are on the letter X. X is for exhale. After you take a deep breath, slow down and exhale a long sigh. This will help you feel more relaxed and focused. Try it two more times. Now we'll have Miss Wagner and Miss Taylor with me. Good morning. Good morning, Essex Pandas. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and enjoyed that beautiful weather uh, yesterday because Saturday was really super rainy. All right, guys, we have a couple of birthdays today. Um, Bryce Doderline, Blake Hartman, and Augustus Ludwig in preschool are all having birthdays today. Come on down and get your pencil, sticker, and book. Um, today, we have a fire drill at 930. And I also wanted to announce that today is Dress Like a Panda Day for our Spirit Week. And tomorrow is Hats Off to Reading, so you can wear your favorite hat. All right, high fives. Um, we have Aubrey read 141 minutes on a mirror, mostly at home. Good job, Aubrey Thompson. Oh, yeah. Harley wrote 47 long E words in our competition. She also remembered what homophones were. Good job, at Harley and Miss Devon's class. Um, Cameron, Fiona, and Nassim from Miss Hoover's room were the only three to get a perfect score on the spelling test. Awesome sauce. Um, Xavier and Paisley were able to recall information from yesterday's lesson on compound sentences from Miss Divin. Aiden Neal read a book all by himself. Um, Carter and Giselle from Miss Majusi's class completed their multiplication facts. Um, from zero through three, Liam Dill knows his. Jaden, Maddie, and Braylon know their four through sixes. Um, and I guess maybe Carter and Giselle were the ones that helped at recess. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Yes. Um, and then and Mason got all of his math questions correct from Miss Hoover's room. Woo! That's a lot That's of a wonderful things to celebrate. Let's give them a firecracker cheer. <laughs> awesome. That makes me super duper happy. All right, guys. Uh, Miss Stanley, you ready for a joke? I'm ready. All right. Oh, speaking of also, I don't know if you guys noticed when you were walking in today, but it looks like Miss Gerke's going to have a March Madness bracket going on with books this um, this month in library. Oh, I'm super excited. And some of the books out there, I can't wait to see which ones they pick because there are really good ones matching up against each other. So keep up with that. All right. This is for Miss Gerke because she is the librarian. Are you okay. Ready? Why did the sparrow go to the library? It was looking for bookworms. Oh, I like books like, like, yeah, like worms. I like books better eat. than worms. Yep. All right. On to you. Well, I have a fire drill fact because, we again, we do have a fire drill today at 930. And the fact is the reason that we do practice is when in, in the reality is that with most of us will never experience a fire. But if you do, we have these drills, so we practice. So it's an automatic. We know what to do automatically. We know the exits to go. We know how to get out and be safe. So this is something for you to take seriously so your brain and your memory know what to do in the case of an emergency or a fire. So take it seriously, and now it is time to have a great day of learning and stand for the pledge. to the flag of the United States of America and 
into the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thank you. Please join me for the school pledge today. I commit to being responsible, respectful, ready, and safe. Teachers, please remember to turn in your attendance by 9.30 a.m. Have a marvelous Monday. Monday.